up, you guys? It's your girl, Tamara L. And I'm in E93 studio with Kenya Kabeen. It is the E93 rendition hip-hop takeover. I'm going to give Kenya Kabeen the opportunity to introduce himself. I appreciate that, Tam. Well, it's good to be here with you. I'm Kenya Kabeen. I do afternoons on E93, Savannah is Hip-Hop and R&B Leader, and I've been at this thing for a minute. For a minute? Yeah, I've been in the game for like 19 years now. Wow, really? Yeah, yeah, I started when I was real young, but it's been 19 years, and I've been with the company for 16 years. So how has radio changed since <sighs> you first started? It's changed a lot, because when I first got into commercial radio, uh, well, I first got my start at Savannah State University, on the campus of Savannah State University, and I did a jazz show there. And then I started as an intern here at E93, and when I came into E93, I was... Uh, washing vehicles, you know, picking up donuts for the staff, running to Popeyes to go get their chicken and stuff like that. But I knew that that was going to be my foot. My foot was in the door, so I knew I was going to work my way up. And then, uh, you know, they put me on. But, I mean, radio has changed so much. It's, it's like when I first came in, we were, like, popping CDs. We were playing CDs and using carts, and we were running reel-to-reel. -reel. That's, like, that's old school. Like, people out there, like, the kids list watching right now, they're going to be like, what is he talking about? But everything was done manually. Like, it was, like, reel-to-reel -reel tapes and to edit down phone calls. Nothing was computerized when I first started. Wow. Yeah, and, I mean, this was just, I mean, this was, like, in the late 90s when I first started. The late 90s. So I started you really like in 98. have been doing this for a while. You see, you guys started from the bottom. Now, now we're, we're here, here, baby. <laughs> now we're here. Definitely here. So for the people that don't know anything about you, what do you like to do in your downtime? In my downtime, I love to watch movies and I love to watch TV. I just got like the last movie I went to go see was uh, Jack the Giant Slayer. Okay. crickets <laughs> but that's a that's a good but it was a good movie um also like tv shows like my favorite show out right now is scandal i love the walking dead i love american horror story i love horror movies anything that's scary horror blood and guts action that's me all day so that's what i love to do and i love to uh spend time with my friends and spend time with my family my family is very important to me so. that's awesome you say you watch television yeah. a lot do you watch american idol because yes. that's, that's the hottest thing out right I now. I love American Idol. Nikki brings it. She's Nikki. bringing it. Mariah Carey, she's not really bringing the, you know, talk that I thought she was going to do and the diva attitude. But Nicki Minaj is really good on that show because she has a lot of constructive criticism to give to people. Do you think I like that's that. by design, though? Because I can't really see Mariah Carey being so hush mouth. I don't either. You know what I'm saying? I think that she's kind of playing the backseat to Nikki, surprisingly, because Mariah Carey's been in the game longer. So I thought that, you know, if Mariah was going to, you know, be throwing like little diva tantrums and, mm, oh, no, you can't exactly. sing, but it's more Nikki that's doing it, you know? So who's your favorite on there? Who are you voting for? I'm really running right now with Candace Glover, who's repping for Beaufort, South Carolina, uh, Ladies Island. This girl can sing. Wow. She's got a beautiful voice. I'm telling you, you all got to vote for her. She's hot. You guys definitely make sure you check American Idol out, and we'll be right back after this commercial break. Calling all artists, hip hop, and RB. This is DJ Trent. Savannah Storm Entertainment brings you the hottest Friday night events to hit GA in South Carolina. Just 20 minutes from Savannah off of 95 in Ridgeland, South Carolina. Superstar and you can get paid. Contact us for booking info at 71 248 5249 or hit us up on the email my album release party at gmail.com. Do you have what it takes to be a star? With well, this is your chance to shine. saw he's a bounty killer. Apparently he's after your brother and his friends. And how is it that you know so much about him? He trained me. Will you help us? I'll help, but it has to be my way. I looked into your file, and it said that you took down three armed and dangerous fugitives from a drug cartel. And? 
What did you? I just can't see you as a bounty hunter. Our situation is this. We have a group of crackers we arrested months ago. One of them was murdered. We need to locate the rest of them for question. We've lost a member. Cheers to our fallen brother. Find them all now and bring me my software codes. Time is running out. Those that are against us will suffer soon. Once I have unleashed the greatest virus in history. We do not negotiate with terrorists. And this megabyte is currently the number one cyber terrorist out there. You have to be fully entrenched in this subculture to understand what you're dealing with completely. This is now our world. The world of bytes, computers, switches, routers, the internet. We do not play by your rules. Did I mention I hate bounty hunters? We're back from our commercial break. The normal interviewer is actually the interviewee today. But I'm going to give him the opportunity to do something special and let him pitch to our first video. That's what's up, Tam. I really appreciate that. Right now, we're about to check out the first video, and it's coming from the homie Ray Lavender. It's called We Love. Okay, you guys, so we're back. 
And as you can see, we changed locations. We're at this conference table now because this is about to get really, really real, Kenya. Uh-oh. I'm about to ask you what a lot of you guys want to know out there. So as a radio personality, uh -huh. what is the craziest thing that has ever happened to you on air? Oh, well, I will do, I will tell you the PG-13 version. Basically, a, 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 a very foul word went out on the radio. And I thought that it was, um, I was doing Club 93.1 Mix Show, and I had uh, comedians Big E, he was in the studio, Red Bone was in the studio, and Akin Tune Day. We were all in the studio, we were all doing a show together, and a uh, very uh, strong, strong word went over the airwaves. And luckily, it was kind of late at night, so I didn't get busted for my program director, Sam Nelson, at the time. But when I tell you, I mean, it was the explicit, explicit word that you would never want to hear on the radio that we would get fined like thousands of dollars for. Luckily, we didn't get phone calls, but that was like one of the wildest moments because I couldn't believe that that word was said. And I didn't say the word. Oh, you know I was getting ready to ask that, right? Yeah. So, but I won't say who said it, but they know who said it. So, Kenya. Yeah. The ladies. Uh-oh. As a radio personality. Uh-huh. You know, you go to these different concerts, you interview these different celebrities. Mm -hmm. I know they're coming at you. Oh, they, they're not coming at me. I wish they were. I know a few that's trying. So I heard <laughs> that you're married. No, I'm not married. And I've, I've heard that rumor. I'm not married. You know, no ring on the finger or anything like that. Um, I'm not engaged either. Um, I don't have kids. But I do have a good girlfriend that lives out of state. So that's Shout all I'm talking about. Shout out to Kenya's beautiful girlfriend. Who Sorry, lives ladies. Out of state. He's taken and he's yes. stressed the out of state part. Yes. So back to these celebrities. All right. <laughs> I've dealt with a few of them. Yeah. And I know that they can be difficult. Yeah, yeah. Who is the worst guest? You don't have to name names if you mm -hmm. don't want to, but we want him to. <laughs> Who is the worst guest that you have ever had that you do not want to cross your path again? Uh, I had a problem, and I know he's doing his thing right now on uh, Celebrity Apprentice, but um, I had a really bad run-in with Lil Jon. When Lil Jon came here, he was with uh, Lil Jon and the Eastside Boys at the time, and he was really hard to deal with. I was interviewing him, and while I was interviewing him, he was texting on his phone. He was like, you know, doing doing like the two-way page. That's like a long time ago. Oh, wow. And, you know, he was being dis disrespectful. Then he just got on the phone in the middle of the interview and he let the East Side boys, like his, his flunkies, I'm not going to call them flunkies because they're, they're cool, but he let his boys do the interview. And I was like, well, you know, the people want to talk to Lil John. They want to hear from Lil John. And he was just like, so he brushed me off while I was on the air. On your I said, show. Yeah, on my show. So I was like, all right, well, you know, what we're gonna do is since Lil John, he's, you know, got stuff on his plate right now, we're gonna wrap up the interview, but don't forget you can check him out at Frozen Paradise uh, later on tonight. And that's a wrap for the interview because you're not gonna come on. You know, my whole thing is, Tam, that if we were in Atlanta, if we were in Miami, he wouldn't disrespect a personality exactly. in a larger market. So why is it that you come to Savannah and you try to, you know, disrespect the dude on the radio in Savannah. It don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? Respect me. Respect the microphone. Respect the people, the listeners of Savannah. Just like you would do if you were in a large city. You know what I'm saying? We're no different from anybody else. People need to recognize that. So Lil John was, you know, like my worst interview that I've had run-ins with celebrities. Like, um, I didn't think that Tamia was too friendly when I met her. Wow. Believe it or not. Um, Dennis Rodman, I had a run-in with him in Miami. And I also had a run-in with Diddy when I was at a club in uh, Atlanta years ago. And Diddy's just very arrogant. I mean, he's really oh, arrogant. Oh, I've met him before. But he's yeah. been cool, but probably yeah. because I'm a female. Female, yeah. You know, that type of thing. Right. And, yeah, I can't even imagine. Yeah. So, to you young people that idolize these celebrities, pay attention to what King is selling. You have to. You have to because... You know, and then here's another thing too, my whole thing about celebrities, Tam, is that, you know, people, they worship celebs and, you know, they get really caught up in, you know, that fame because everybody wants to be famous, but celebrities are just like you and I. They just have more fans and more money than us, but they bleed, you know, they hurt, they have insecurities. They are just like you and I. That's it, you know, so I treat everybody you know, the way I want to be treated and that's with respect. Now, I do get a little starstruck when I meet an actress for some reason. 
I met yeah. Nia Long when Nia Long was here a couple of years ago, and I was all up in her mouth like this. Oh my god! I fell in love with her. Like she looked at me, and I was just like, I fell in love with Nia Long. You know, Nia Long for me was everything. You know what I mean? But. Um, and uh, Lynn Whitfield, I was excited when I saw her, but Nia Long, she was kind of looking at me like, okay, like this dude right here, he's looking at me like a stalker, what's up, you know? So that's my that's my story with Nia Long. I mean, but I, I, I love actresses, but you know, entertainers, they don't really, you know, like just get me all crunk. You know, I just, I'm really laid back with them. And I think that's why when I interview a lot of people, like I've always been told I do real good interviews. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, I, I make them feel very comfortable like they were talking to their homie, you know? Just like he's making me feel really, really comfortable right now. Talking to my homie Kenya right now. Yeah. So, let's see. What else do we want to know about you? Uh-oh. Local artists. Mm hmm I know a lot of local artists approach you. Yeah. Are there some things that you would tell them to do differently? Because sometimes they just automatically assume that you can just put their stuff on the air for now. Right. So right. go ahead and clear that up for the haters. Yeah, absolutely. Well, <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't necessarily call like, you know, the local artists. Oh, no, I'm not calling the local artists haters. Now, y'all know oh. I love you. Oh, definitely. But I'm saying the people that hate, that, that don't that, understand that the business. Right, because, because I have had people that hate on me because they're like, I had, I don't know if you saw the dude on Facebook who was, you know, slandering me, was slandering G because, you know, we, didn't play his joint but there's a way that you do it I mean first of all we have a mix show that for, we're a commercial radio station and we only play uh, commercial music like Alicia Keys Walk a Flock of Flame the only time we run the independent joints are on the mix show on Club 93.1 with Mike Fresh you give your CD to Mike Fresh it has to be cleaned up you know I've had cats come to me in the street and be like yo you know can you play my joint it's not cleaned it's not mastered it's not radio friendly I can't do anything with that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I definitely phone ringing while we're doing the this? interview. We're doing an interview and his phone is ringing. That was so unprofessional. You know what I'm saying? Take two. <laughs> I'm gonna let him pass with that one. Don't, don't let it happen. I know again. the phone should have been on silent. Why don't I just silent right now? But I mean, you know, people have to understand that this is a business, and when you do approach somebody that's a, a radio personality, you know, have have your stuff together. You know. Um, if you give give me a CD in the middle of the street, if it's written like with a Sharpie, nine times out of ten, that's not going to be put on the radio. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it has to be done. This is a business. This is professional and Cumulus Media is a multi-million dollar. We're the number two media broadcasting company in the country. Number two. You know what I'm saying? So you have to really, you know, when you step to somebody, it has to be correct. Okay, so Kenya just messed up my next question <laughs> because I was going to ask him to give you guys advice and he definitely gave you guys advice. So basically research, 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 yeah. know your business, like that's extremely important. So what do you want your listeners, not viewers, what do you want your listeners to, to know about you that are actually viewing you on television now? They actually get to see you instead of mm -hmm. hear your voice. Well, you know, I know there are a lot of people out there that, you know, know me. Then there's people out there that don't know me. But, you know, I think for me, I just want people to take away knowing that, you know, I was somebody that tried to make a difference in the community. I was, I'm, you know, I'm a personality that really cares. I don't walk around town, you know, like with my nose all up in the air. I don't think that I'm better than anybody else. I'm just like exactly. you. I'm just like you out there. I'm like, I, I, I want to be known as, you know, just that dude that people can come and talk to. Like I, I could be in the store and people just come up to me and they tell me their problems. You know, they just, that's, it's, it's interesting. It's a cool feeling because I feel like, you know, people connect with me somehow. So I want people to understand that. I'm just like them, you know, I got, you know, insecurities just like the next man, but I'm, I'm, I'm that dude that's working hard, that's trying to be a positive, you know, role model, and I'm not trying to act hard or above anybody, you know, I'm just being me and I want to be respected, you know what I'm saying? So I want people to just get that, you know, you know, I come from a single parent family, you know, I understand people's struggles, I'm not perfect, you know, I make mistakes. But I'm just trying to evolve, and I think that's what I want people to know about me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm that dude that's trying to make a difference. That's beautiful. Thank now, you. Beautiful just week, like you. Thank you. Ow. Every week you're always asking people, 
who or what's trifling in their life. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put you on the spot. Mm -hmm. Who or what is trifling in your life? Wow. I want to say some names, but you know, I'm going to be real cool. No names, no lawsuits around here. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get in trouble for slandering people. Exactly. But, but, uh, cause I'm good at that. <laughs> but, but, uh, um, you know, I just don't like hateful people or, uh, people that, People that just come, people, people that are just being hateful for no reason, just because of, you know, oh, he thinks he's all that because he's on the radio, or you know, people just hate for just no reason. You know, Sounds I get like that. Sounds like you need to get some off your chest. Go ahead. I know, like I get that. I, well, I get that all the time, and I hate when it comes from people that I trust. You know, that people that I thought you know were cool with me. You know, I experienced that that early off in my career. You know, people that you know, acted like they were my friends and turned out they really weren't my friends. But you know, I think in this business, you really learn who's your real friends and who aren't your real you friends. I, and, and you know, I'm not that type dude that's, you know, gonna try to plot revenge or anything on people because I'm a firm believer, firm believer of what goes around, comes around. Karma and payback are my best friends. You know what I'm saying? And I just let God work everything out. You know what I'm saying? God works everything out. And it's funny because people that always do little, you know, say little snide stuff about me around town. And I know you're watching this right now because you all, you know, the, my haters follow me all the time. You know, they want to know everything that I do. They're on my Facebook page. They're always trying to, you know, they're, they're, they're watching me, but then they're talking about me mm -hmm. behind my back. I really think that the haters are people that really admire me, you know what I'm saying? They wish that they could be in my shoes, and that's just how I look at it. So for people that are like that, I just, I think that's, those are the people that really trip me out. Those are the trifling people. That those are the can't. ones that are scared to go after what yeah. you're doing right now. Right. Realize that you can do the same thing, just prepare yourself. There's no need for any hate. Shout None out to whatsoever. you hate in university. Also, All day, you hate in university. What so. is the best thing about your job? The best thing about my job is that I can make a difference, you know, go to the schools and talk to kids about my experience and tell them that, you know, they have to stay focused and stay in school. That's the best part. I really love mentoring kids and just talking to kids about, you know, doing the right thing because I made a lot of bad mistakes when I was, you know, coming into the game, you know, from doing drugs to hanging out with the wrong crowd. I mean, all of that stuff. I feel like if I share my experience with people, Tam, then you know I can make a difference. There's, if if I could just change one person's mentality or you know stop a kid from doing you know stupid and dumb stuff, I've done my job and I'm good with that. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So for the little kids that are watching you now, mm -hmm. what's a typical day like for Kenya? A typical day for me, um, well, really my days are supposed to start in the gym, working out with my beast mode, you know, crew, you know, big zo shots out to them. Um, but I haven't, you know, been working out because of my leg injury. But a typical day for me is, you know, get up. Um, I go check on my mom, um, who, you know, I moved down here from Atlanta. She has dementia, uh, mm -hmm. Alzheimer's. So I check on her, and then I come to the station, uh, and I, you know, cut commercials. Um, maybe, you know, leave work, go grab lunch with some of my friends, and then go come back to work at like 1:30 and. You know, talk on the air, talk mess for a little while, keep people entertained, and then I get off the air and kind of, you know, chill out. I might go out to dinner with some friends or, you know, just chill. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I like doing. Go to the movies. Well, I want to thank you so much for being on our show. Thank you. Like, I can tell that you don't that even realize good. what you said in your interview. Like, how many points you've touched without even trying to do so. That mm -hmm. just shows how positive of a spirit he is. He has. So I hope you guys would definitely follow Kenya Kabine. There's no reason to hate. He is so approachable. Oh my gosh, he's so awesome. Thank you. So can you please You're tell the people how they can get in touch with you? I appreciate that, Tam. You all can holler at me on Facebook, Kenya Kabine uh, 2, which is K-E-N-Y-A-C-A-B-I-N-E 2, or Twitter, uh, it's twitter.com slash Kenya Kabeen, uh, Instagram.com slash Kenya Kabeen, or just go to the E93 website for a link to all of those pages right and there. And he spelled it out for you, so there's definitely no excuse not to check yeah. him out. And, and you all can flash Kenya Kabeen under the screen right now. Kenya Kabeen. <laughs> yeah, they can flash that right now. Kenya I see Kabeen. it. You it's, see it? It's right, it's right there. there? It's, it's there right it is. There. Okay. All Thank right. you so much. Tam, and I look forward you. to seeing you again. You're a sweetheart. Thank you very much. I appreciate everything. Thank you for having me. One Bye, love, y'all. See you next episode.
make it a lot better financially if you took more of my cases. With your recovery record, they're as good as bad. It's tempting, but I've lost a step. I'm gonna stick to the white collar grab. What do you think, Nine Iron? Definitely iron. We got a big problem. Right, this isn't just some small case about frat boys going wild. The man you saw, he's a bounty killer. Apparently he's after your brother and his friends. And how is it that you know so much about him? He trained me. Will you help us? I help, but it has to be my way. I looked into your file, and it said that you took down three armed and dangerous fugitives from a drug cartel. And? Well, did you? I just can't see you as a bounty hunter. Our situation is this. We have a group of crackers who were arrested months ago. One of them was murdered. We need to locate the rest of them for question. We've lost a member. Cheers to our fallen brother. Find them all now and bring me my software codes. Time is running out. Those that are against us will suffer soon. Once I have unleashed the greatest virus in history. We do not negotiate with terrorists. And this megabyte is currently the number one cyber terrorist out there. You have to be fully entrenched in this subculture to understand what you're dealing with completely. This is now our world. The world of bytes, computers, switches, routers, the internet. We do not play by your rules. Did I mention I hate bounty hunters? Calling all artists, hip hop, and RB. This is DJ Trans. Savannah Storm Entertainment brings you the hottest Friday night events to hit GA in South Carolina. South Carolina, the Friday Night Artist Album Release Party, every Friday night, it's your time to shine, be a superstar and you can get paid, contact us for booking info, 971-248-5249, or hit us up on the email, myalbumreleaseparty at gmail.com, do you have what it takes to be a star, with well, this is your chance to shine. Hey, I want to give a special thanks to our sponsors, Convertible Burt, for sending us this nice men apparel. And also, we would like to thank Stacy Paris Clothing. Work it, boo. <laughs> thank you, girl. Thank you so much. We appreciate you at Rendition. That's what's up. Thank you for Rendition Hip Hop TV. And we're back from our commercial bait. The the darn. Let's go again. Okay. <laughs> okay. We, today our interviewer is no, he's not. Okay. One last time. I'm about to nail it. 